Well, hello. Uh, as I record this, I have just had an organizational meeting for Science Olympiad. Why do I bring that up? Because I decided to wait until Science Olympiad started a new season to talk about the, this pen. Uh, so what I have here is a pen, a group of pens, actually a package of three pens that was given to me by uh, some students on my Science Olympiad team last year while we were at state competition in Fargo. All right, so we're back on the road. Uh, had to go looking for two missing rep scallions, but uh, found them eventually. And uh, the team presented me with. So we're headed to Jamestown for supper. So, since we're starting a new season, I thought it's time to rip into the pens and film my first impressions. So let's take a look at them. So the pens apparently are a modern script brand, black ink, and we can see a little bit more information here. Fountain pen tip. This may actually be the brand Uli. There we go. That's kind of hard to show there and they've got some advice on how to fill them and looking at the back made in china uli oceanside california white pebble international so whatever all that means to you so let's take a look here what's in the box we have a sealed box we need a tool to cut that open luckily i'm upstairs not at my old basement set so i have a handy tool. So now you know it truly is a first impression. Unlike uh, my vintage pens, this has never been opened. So pull that out. We've got a very sh shiny notebook for notebook purposes. I'm actually, this is handy. I carry a pocket notebook everywhere, so this is a handy thing to have. And then the three pens. I don't think see any visible difference between them but we've got a gold a silver and a, a whatever that is rose gold so I'm picking the rose gold to for the purposes of this video we'll set everything else aside and usually I don't give the cost to the pen but it you know it's right there on the package this is from the NDSU bookstore so it, let's just take a look at it so clear cap which is interesting um, it can get messy. I don't know how this pen will be. You know, as the inside gets splashed with ink. The nib sort of reminds me of a Parker, oh, branded with Uli. Not a Parker, a uh, Pilot. Holy, okay. So what I thought was the cap is only part of the cap. <laughs> but now it's reminding me even more of a Pilot Varsity. What do you think? But one difference between this and the Pilot Varsity, which it shows on the package, if I open this up, oh yeah, Pilot Varsity also has a uh, fabric feed, felt feed, is that the word I want? It looks like this does too. So it comes with a cartridge in, hidden inside the barrel. There, snaps in place. And I will probably need to give it a minute to, or two to saturate the feed. Maybe more than that. So this is part one of the Uli. I will come back to the Uli and I'm going to film the first impression of something else. And by the time that's done, I should be able to come back to the Uli and talk about it. And have it actually right. I am back. I just filmed the entire first impression of a Caveco V101. And I double checked. I usually you get to watch my first writing experience, but I did a quick shh across a post it with this pen to make sure it was writing, make sure I wasn't wasting my time filming this. Uh, so the feed is saturated on this Uli, and we're ready to begin writing. And I was just thinking, Uli made me makes me think of those old uh, Oli and Sven jokes, which if you're not from this part of the country, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, a little regional humor North Dakota Minnesota in particular and unfortunately the only Ole and Sven joke I can think of right now is not really appropriate so I'm not going to share it although I guess uh, YouTube is making me say that I'm not a child-friendly channel 
as part of their settlement with the with the FTC. So maybe if I tell a dirty joke, I'll, then I will be definitely not child friendly. So this is an Uli pen. We're just going to call the ink in it black because that's what it says in the box. Black. If you're familiar with the Pilot Varsity, you know how this flex is going to go. I knew just looking at the nib as soon as I saw it. Yeah, I see a little wiggling in the nib. But this is not a flex pen. Now the ink seems to be coming out smoothly and reliably. If you've used the Pilot Varsity, they come out smoothly and reliably there too. Uh, the, just because it's a cheap pen and semi-disposable doesn't mean it's a piece of junk. They can be very good writers. I think this is metal. It sounds like it's making a met metallic clink. I just thought of that. Wetness and flow. Now don't look for the excitement of a, a vintage flex pen. But they can be good. Oops, excuse me. They can be good, reliable writers. I'm almost to the point I'd rather give one of these away to people than give away cheap Chinese pens because I'm finding when I give away the cheap Chinese pens, kids get a ink all over themselves. Whereas I think if I gave something like this or a Pilot Varsity away, then, you know, it's kind of foolproof and gives them a chance to learn how a fountain pen writes. Smear test. Just kind of amazes me that I can write with all kinds of fountain pens. They don't explode on me. Give them to somebody else. Woo! Your pen just exploded, Mr. Squirrel. Reverse writing, if you're into that kind of thing. Slightly scratchier. Uh, I almost want to call the regular writing a medium. I didn't see a nib size on the box anywhere. But uh, that's where I'm going to go with that. And this looks more like a fine. And finally, the world famous Peter Gustafson test. Uh, I, I thought that this lip would bother me when I got the pen out, but it really doesn't. I can either hold it here or here. This lip is smooth enough that it doesn't bother me. Surprise. Okay, a little faily now, right there. But uh, I may have rotated it a bit, so I'm not sure if that's my fault or not. But I think that did very well. In fact, I think it did better than a couple of the first impressions of quite significantly more expensive pens I did first impressions of tonight. All right, so what do I think? I am, I'm pleased with it. Uh, one other test I feel I should do. Yeah, that slipped in there with no problem. Uh, this is a much nicer pen than I thought it would be. I uh, I guess if I would have opened it and looked at the nib, I might have had a more warm and fuzzies right away. Um, that Pilot Varsity nib, whatever you may think of them, they're decent, reliable pens. Not exciting, but decent, reliable. And this one is very similar to that design. And I think that's why this pen works. And this has one major advantage over the Pilot Varsity. It's refillable. Uh, you, I, I haven't seen cartridges like that for sale, except maybe, maybe my Daiso pens use one like that. But what I have seen are nice little syringes where you just take ink out of the ink bottle and squirt it into the converter. Or cartridge, sorry. Uh, if it can take cartridges, there is probably a converter that fits it if there's enough room in the barrel for the converter. I don't know. Um, with these fiber type feeds, I don't know what their longevity is. And I'm not sure how well they respond to being filled through the nib. Never tried it. But maybe you can let us know down in the comments. So, yes, I appreciate this gift for my students. I probably should have just filmed it right away. Uh, but I just had it in my head that, no, I'm going to film it at the beginning of Science Olympiad season. 
So who knows, maybe this spring we'll be off on another trip to Fargo. <laughs> we'll see. So I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.